Okay, so I just sold something and I'm gonna transfer the money from Trust Wallet back into Binance and then I'm gonna change it to Canadian, then deposit it, best interact back to my bank account. Okay, so if you don't know how to sell, all you gotta do is uh, first you go to go D apps down here and you click on it you go to pancake swap and first of all you have to make sure up here where over here beside that little pancake rabbit hat over there make sure that you connect your trust wallet account over here so you click there go in and you connect just choose your trust wallet over here and that says you simply have connected this is your first time make sure that the swap is highlighted over here and where is the exchange over here you can come here to exchange here so trade token in an instant so you see this law lines over here you can click on the lines and mine says 11 now but I guess 11 is good it's been working for me if it doesn't work sometimes when you try to transfer it doesn't work you can change this 11 to 12 and see if it will work so down here now what you gotta do is instead of what you gotta do down here is your balance that's your balance over here for your B and B, so you gotta change that into whatever token that you wanna sell. Say I wanna sell my NFT. I'll click on that NFT, and down here where it says select the currency, see you gotta go and click down there too, and you gotta put your B and B. Because you're gonna put your money into BNB, so after you're gonna swipe it out from BNB. This is um, I think this one is the chain, so you're gonna swipe it out to the yellow one, and then it's another little trick I found. I don't normally like to sell all my my stocks, so what I do is I will start typing in random numbers. So here I have a 13 billion share, so say i want to sell some so maybe i start typing like two a bunch of numbers together so the more you type you're gonna see the numbers here on the bottom so i keep typing a bunch of numbers okay say insufficient because i type too much sorry you have to do from the top not the bottom you can't do from the bottom okay so i got 0.32 eight nine zero six right now so how do i know how much this is worth so what i do is you go to binance so scream come to binance over here and make sure that trade is highlighted you go on the trade so you click trade on the bottom by the way this is the pro version of uh of binance and if you go to the light version, I don't think it look like this. So to change to the light version on Binance, you're gonna go home, click home, and you're gonna click on your picture over here. So you click on your picture, and you see where it say Binance light. You just have to switch it on. You switch it on. Takes like about a second. All of a sudden it changes it look way different so if I try to do from here let me see if it's light if I can do from light I think you click here on the light okay no the line let me see try the wallet no so I don't have not figured out to do that one yet. So I'll just stick to the I'll just stick to the Binance Pro for now to use at this time. So and go back to the icon again. 
and then I'm going to switch it back off and then come back to the pro now okay so I come down here in the trade I click on trade and you have to remember the number that we had under the trust wallet so let me flash back again see how much it was so it was 0 0.325 0 0.325 so I come here under amount oh before that make sure it's under spot and your money might be different so it might be different one over here but what I want to use is a BN, BNB slash BUSD or I guess you can have USD whatever you can find this so what you do is that a little two line before it you click on it and it will bring you here and make sure so here it has all the different ones over here but you can type it where it say on the market search you can type bnb and you're gonna see all the different bnb you have so if i want to change it to bnb if i want to change it to bnb usd i guess i'll change the bnb usd okay click on it bnb usd Oh, I forgot the number again okay just for the example I don't remember the number but I think it was so you come under here and the buy and you add the limit and you're gonna see so if it's buy meaning uh, the BNB to USD right now each one of them is worth 638 so I think the number was about 032 whatever I don't remember but you click your amount you put 0.0325 so that's how you know if that's what amount you have it's gonna be twenty dollars and seventy five cents US and say if you have a one point zero two that's how much you get when you sell so this give you an idea how much you are selling if you're not gonna sell everything so we're gonna head back to trust wallet so you're back to trust wallet and what you do is you will confirm down here right now it's saying that I don't have maybe I put too much number so if I take some off here now it's highlighted now so I would I'm not selling it so I'm not gonna go through this but what I need to do is swap but I think because I don't have enough money in my in my BNB wallet here to cover for the fee that's why it's saying that so I would need to do is uh, add more money to it to do it but I have money in there now just when I I take my money I won't take it all of it out maybe I leave like five or six dollars in there to cover my next trade okay so let's get out of here so now we are back here now now we are back here now so what I'm going to do is uh, go back to Dex down here. I go to Dex, and what I need to do now is we need to swipe our BMB this black one down here. I need to swipe my BMB this one down here for the top one. So all I gotta do is click this arrow over here to flip it around and so it's showing that i have a 1.014 up here so what i'm gonna do is i don't wanna swipe everything so because i want to leave some money in there to pay for my next trade when i do trade something so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna type in here the one point one point zero one one point zero one so this will leave me uh one point zero one hmm, maybe one point zero I need to leave a little bit of money in here to be able to pay for the next trade if not I have to put money back again I don't want to do that so 
maybe I'll try 1.0 1.0 okay I just leave 1.01 if I have to put money again next time it's okay but I think that should be enough money left in here to have maybe eight or ten dollars to cover my next trade <coughs> to cover my next trade so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swipe it I think I'm going to swipe it now. I'm not going to change anything here, but if it doesn't work, maybe I can change it 25% and see. So swipe. And it's asking me about the fee. Okay. I'm going to press send. It's processing right now. So it might take a few minutes. So I'm just going to press OK. Okay, let me see if it did it worked or not. So I'm gonna come back to wallet and I haven't seen anything arrive here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh it and see if it'll come in. It seemed like it came it seemed like it's coming in because I well I still have one here. I thought I had less. Let's see again. Yeah, it hasn't moved yet, so I'm waiting to see what will happen. But it should move. Okay, it just came in now. I guess it takes a little bit a while to do it. So now, what I have to do now is, since I got this done, I'm gonna have to transfer this BNB yellow one back into Binance. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna click on it. And as you can see, I have 1.1 just like I swiped out the other one. and. Actually, let me see how much I have on the black one now, the smart chain now. So I go back to wallet. No, actually, no, you can just go back from here since it's on my phone. And on the, it still say I have one left on here too. I think it's a mistake. Sent it. Okay, good. Ooh, that was bad. I only have a dollar left. Maybe I should have taken less. I might have to put money in the next one to take anything. Okay. Okay, so we have it here now. So I'm going to click on the BNB yellow one. Okay. So I want to send this BNB into my banners. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna press send. So you come down here, you press send. So I'm sending the money, send the money. And then it's asking me to paste the address here of where I wanna send it to. So you paste the address of where I wanna send it to. So. I'm looking for address space and then the amount and the memo. Okay, so I get out of here now. Leave it the way it is here. And you go to Binance right now. So I'm in Binance right now and I'm trying to transfer that into my spot wallet okay so
my spot wallet so I come to wallet down here and because I am um, because I'm sending the money here so I got a deposit over here so I gotta click deposit and I want to deposit it in BNB so click to BNB down here BNB okay, so you're gonna click import and you gotta get the right one so I gotta click here okay so now what I need is my wallet now so this is very important see how it's up here said deposit b and b so you got a b e two e up here those three things up here make sure you choose the right one so i'm gonna go back again to true wallet and i'm gonna try to find out which one it is I think um, yes, I think it's the right one that was highlighted already because let me see if I can figure it out. Go back here. My BNB. I figured how to do before. How come I can't find it now? Anyways, if I figure, I remember that I will put it in how to do it later on. But so we go back to send down okay so i go back here to trust wallet and then so i need my wallet address so i copy over here i'll copy it it said copy and i come back here and i'll paste it here i'll paste my address here and don't forget about the memo so it's important i come back here and the memo is down here too. Or I'll copy the memo. Come back and paste in the memo. Paste the memo in. So now over here is how much do I want to transfer from Trust Wallet into my account? You can press max. If I press max, it tells me eh, it takes everything from here. But since I didn't want to, since there was only one dollar left, maybe I shouldn't take everything because I want to use that money to withdraw something later on. So maybe I just type in, I just leave the one out. So I just leave it one point oh because I want to be able to use the money to transfer the next one, something else. So after I'm done all this now. I go up here and I'm going to click continue. Continue. And I press continue. So that's my wallet to this. My memo. Network fee is going to pay what? Four cents. The total is going to be 641. So I'm going to go ahead and press send. okay and just like that it's sent and good thing i left that little point zero because i have six dollars here left so that's good i can put that back again to my wallet so the money is supposed to be in here now so let's see keep refreshing Okay, sorry. I mean, I transfer the money from here. This is Trust Wallet, so I need to go to my Binance to see my money there. Okay, so I'm back in Binance now. I go here. I gotta look for the money now. So where is the money now? It should be in here.
Okay, I'm trying to find out where my money is right now. So when it comes in, I'll continue from there. Overview. Oh, I gotta find where the BNB is. Okay, I just got a, a text saying that my BNB was transferred successfully. Okay, so I think it should be in now. So, okay, here it is now. See down here now? So I have one BNB that's worth about $700 down here. If you see down here, $700 Canadian. Okay, so now that I got it here, the next thing I need to do now is I got to transfer this BNB over here into pay to P2P. That's P2P, peer-to-peer -peer trading to be able to sell it. But at that one, I find it more easier if I do it on the computer. So I'm going to end this video for now and I'll continue from my laptop. Bye for now. This video for now.